I, I very much enjoyed everyone's earliest musical memories. Yeah. That was mm. my favorite part. It's quite a, it was very so sweet. It's yeah. a good question. It's not something I often ask people. Okay. Great, right, we good. send it. Yeah, we good? We're good. Action. Go on. Describe you. Um, dumb. <laughs> Childish. <laughs> and Fergus sings, and he plays secondary guitar as well in the band. Yep. Um, <laughs> Alex is very charming and lovely and grumpy. <laughs> but then not grumpy. Uh, he plays uh, vocals and sings songs. <laughs> Josh is handsome, strong, and German. He plays the drums and and occasionally will uh, nail the vocals. <laughs> Jackie is uh, outrageous. He's extremely smart, and he's my best mate. Oh. oh, and he's so a ripper nice. bass player and occasional guitar player. There we go. And BVs. And BVs. Yeah. Yeah. I do some toots on the market. And do some extremely beautiful piano playing. You've been on tour since September. How do you gather your energy to play so many concerts in a row? Caffeine. A lot of caffeine. Zero sugar. It's a fantastic beverage. So it's true we've been in Europe since September. Prior to that, we actually played over 100 shows in a row in our home country of Australia. Even when you're like very tired and exhausted, you know that as yeah. soon as the gig starts, you're fine. Something happens, it all just like kicks what into gear. Then? Drugs. Uh, adre <laughs> adrenaline and... Uh, the love for each other. The music. And the music. The music is compelling. Yeah. A few bodies in the room doesn't hurt. A couple of bodies in the room, to, in the room. to really lift the spirit of yeah. the room. And uh, do you guys ever have an argument or something? Like, no. How do you deal with that? Uh, I think because we've been together for quite a while, like any good marriage, you've got to figure out how to fight. And so we, do, we argue, but we like talk it out and then we kiss and make up, always. We're very good communicators. As long as we get to a show within the 24 hours of an argument, I think it's safe. We're good. Yeah. We're just excellent communicators. We just very much address each other with what we need to address. Is there like a favorite city you would like to start your Hanover. tour in? Hanover. 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 Emeraldshin. European home. We've got friends. Shows are great. Food's great. Food's great. Yeah, Parties food's great. are great. Go she. Go see shows. Go Are you disagreeing with my, um, <laughs> my description of you now? <laughs> <laughs> Be kind, you know, please. What do you think other people think about Jack oh. that isn't true at all? Right? Yeah, they think he's really sweet. That he's, that he's timid. That he's timid. That he's quiet. That he's shy. Yeah, yeah. People who meet Jack he's, sort of briefly would be like, oh, he's a very quiet person. Very intellectual, that, that quiet that person. He's a reserved yeah. individual. I think in first impressions sometimes I do come off as quite shy. But as you know, when I'm comfortable in a situation, it's not... Um, <laughs> yeah. It's not how it pans out. It's not how it pans out at all. It's not how it pans out at all. It depends with anyone. <laughs> yeah. What instrument is Fergus interested in and would like to play one day? Oh, you trying to give guitar a go at some point? <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing. I knew it was coming. I reckon it's a pretty easy answer. I say it all the time. Piano. Yeah. He wants. He wants. He, wa he wishes to have kept his piano. Oh, you were saying tuition. that last night, actually. Yeah. Yes. I'd be, it'd be so good to be able to play piano and be able to in any environment when there's a piano there. Just, I, I say that I'm, I blame my parents for not forcing me to play piano, but I've, I've been around for long enough, I could have fucking learned to play piano, really. That's what's stopping me. Wait, so, when I'm Alex not... consumes music today, what does he pay special attention to? <laughs> the oh, everything. I think when you consume music, you are very focused and listen to not only the writing, but how it's recorded. 
I, if I was to guess today in the mood that we're in, I think your consumer of music today will be watching country guitar solos by very good guitarists on Instagram. All those things are accurate. Yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's like the, the basis of the language in which we construct our professional lives in a way and our emotional lives and continue to remain committed to this madness. It's, like, it's still the thing that is magical about it all. What music performance uh, or like styles has strongly influenced Josh to this day? Joshy, yeah, he loves Robbie Williams, loves Robbie straight Williams. up. I'm gonna say that's his exclusive yeah. influence. Yeah. Love a big, big Britpop ballad, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> he loves Queen, but I don't know if that comes out in your playing. No, I would almost dis yeah, I wasn't into Roger Taylor's playing. Mm -hmm. That heavy hi hat. You meant to be quiet during this part, and then, sorry, he, and then he can say, sorry. and then he I can say, the game. I fucked the game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's in. He's been into Roger Taylor's playing. The, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> How did you become aware of this performance? You know what I did hear from Robbie Williams. Probably one of the first things was "Swing When You're Winning," which is actually a big band project he did, mm. and there was a live DVD of him doing yeah, that at Royal Albert Hall. Brilliant. Playing football, he was a big football fan, and match of the day, Sunday morning, Robbie Williams used to play. Um, oh, it's, it's just endless. It's endless. It's good Some of my first concerts were Robbie Williams concerts. Yeah. Watching him stoned out his brains on top of the pops as a kid made me aware that drugs exist. <laughs> it was like, it was great. That's awesome. Good. Nice. Are you up for a second round? Yeah, let's do it, come on. Yeah. Oh. We drove all this way. We didn't stop uh, for one round. How did Fergus get into making music? Uh, when, he was, when he was in primary school, I believe, he played, he did a recorder class, a necessary recorder class, which was uh, uh, part of the syllabus for all the children. And then from recorder, you progressed to guitar, I believe. You were put into guitar tuition and some piano tuition. You went to Yamaha Music School when you were a kid. Yeah. Off of Mole, off of Glen Ferry Road, opposite Coles, up the stairs, which is also where I went, funnily enough. But you didn't know each other then? No. Yeah. We might, might, we imagine we were in the same class. That's wild. That's how we got into music. And his, his parents, both your parents. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think more so the... My, my mum was a singer in a band and my dad's a terrible musician, well he's not a musician, but loves music. And my older brothers, and particularly my oldest brother, was obsessed with Queen and Aerosmith. And so I just grew up with a very music household. Who wants to go next? You pick, it's your, your, your thing. Okay. Let's go back to Jack then. All right. When did Jack have the first time a musical instrument in his hand? <laughs> um, we've known Jack for a long time, but not that long. We I know he played true. guitar when he was very young, more so than a bass guitar. I believe that's the case. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly, but my dad had a guitar around. My brother started learning guitar when I was like 13, and I got a bit competitive, so I started playing at like 13. Um, and then I got a bass when I was 14, but because it's a shit instrument, I didn't want to play it at first. But, but Turns out you're really good. Turns out you're awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's now one um, of the best bass players in the world. Ever. On the planet. Ever. ever. Probably. I'm awesome. He's a monster. <laughs> monster. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Monster Jack. <laughs> uh, yeah, 13 or 14, something around there. Mm -hmm. And um, do you remember your first memories of music? Oof. Um, a really early one is there's this like cassette audiobook version of War of the Worlds. Um, and it's really scary. And there's interludes of music. Um, I could say that's one of my earliest ones. Pretty cool. Just being really scared listening to music. <laughs> I would like you to handle this all. First thing that comes to mind is like, is it Peter and the Wolf? Mm-hmm. With, with, with Bowie narrating it. And how the different parts of the orchestra re resemble different animals. And mm. um, yeah, I, th I don't know when, but I remember getting pretty stuck into that. It's a good thing to get stuck in there. And I used to love lying under the Christmas tree and we had these fairy lights 
that would make Christmas carol things, which mm. I would hate now. But I just lay under the Christmas tree and loved it. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of very um, wholesome. I was four, I think, when my sister was starting her piano lessons and tuition, and my parents took us into a, a music shop to buy what was the, what is uh, the Yamaha Clavinova, which, which you experienced oh. at Christoph's, uh, into this like Yamaha shop. And I remember being, I was too small to reach the key, uh, to sit on the, the stool, but I could, I put my hand up and I could reach the keys. And I remember like hitting a sequence and thinking that, that it made sense, the sequence. And, and then from that point, I was like, I need to know how to do that. Like, I need to know how to, how to access that again. It's great. And just imagine, imagine all you, like, putting your hand up and saying, <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it, it was... It's it's show me, show me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think his piano is, like, such a button machine. As a, Like, you, you can... It makes sense to play it in sequence, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, hang on, that, there's, that's congruent musically, you know? But anyway, it's pretty wild. It's a very vivid memory for me. I think the first time I realised music was its own little identity and its own thing was it's a classical musical uh, thing as well. <laughs> um, we lived near a castle, Pembroke Castle, and the Cardiff Symphony Orchestra used to visit uh, a couple of times a year. Um, and my granddad was a, um, a big lover of classical music and would take us from when we were all very, very young and I think the, rather than the instruments, it, it was the idea of a group of people doing something together and the feeling I remember from a young age of being quite overwhelming. Like the idea that that amount of people can create something like that as a, as a group, um, which I've experienced as well in like a sports setting or a, in, in other musical group settings. But I remember that feeling being quite strong and, being, and then that probably that that feeling from such a young age probably maybe want to explore those different areas and as you get older you you start meeting people who play music and yeah that's probably it from a very young age like four or five i'd say we'll that's here. awesome that's sick nice um i think i'm gonna go with the last question right? 19. 19. the last yes. question god help me <laughs> Uh, easy one's music, so let's skip that. He's, he's an extremely knowledgeable historian of the guitar. I know it's within music. There is other things to Alex and music. But if, if, if you were to get him going about the history of various guitars, there's, there's a lot going on there and you, yeah, you can't really keep him quiet. You can get him going on a lot of things. Yeah. I reckon Alex really likes talking about language. He yeah. often talks about language and where words come from and interesting different sentences in languages that we don't speak. Mm. Um, you like a little yarn about that. I do like language a lot. Mm. It's one of the most compelling forces in my life, I think. you got 30 seconds. Go. To speak about language. Yes. Well, considering it's like the amalgamation of, of noise and phonetics to convey and arrange the chaos of life into meaning. It's, it's, the, it's probably the most fascinating thing that we all take for granted, considering there are so many variations and all have been designed to convey the same ideas. But the variations are range from like very primal uh, designs to like highly complex ones now that have been refined over probably 300,000 years. Um, and that's, and we're still using the same, the same system to convey the same ideas about life that no one knows. So there we are. That was more of a summary about the concept of language right <laughs> <in> itself, but <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, well then we're gonna go to the last question. Um, last questions, I have three. You're going home in a couple of days. What feelings do you get when you think about it? We've got some shows when we get back, so that's exciting. I was saying last night, actually, if we didn't have shows, it'd be worse. Mm. The fact that we're going back to shows is like, 
Exciting. Continued lift. Never stops. Well. Yeah, we've all got a lot on, so we've got stuff to go back to, but it can be a bit weird and difficult. It's like that, I think you can, most people experience it when you go on holiday and you get back and you have that like half depresso thing going on where you still wish you were away and things like that. Mm. I think you get that a bit. I and think then, the pace uh, of like being over here is very fast as well. Oh, and yeah. you sort of get used to it. Mm. Um, and when you go back home, it just slows down a lot. Mm. Um, I guess that's what I'm not looking forward to. But as you said, home is beautiful. And we all have beautiful people in our lives that we want to go home to. Yeah, I always, I'm kind of dreading that every single person I speak to is gonna be like, how's the tour, how's the tour, how's the tour? Mm. You still have to. I didn't start, I just say. It was really good. You end up saying the same things like, yeah, it was great, we did this. And you like get like a like a. It ends up being a script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you like to be? Question about language. Maybe something like, "What was the best moment, or what was the best thing you ate, or you know, mm. not just like everyone's just housed to it." Yeah. I'm just like, Fuck, I don't know. What's your brain doing? <laughs> yeah. Um, is there anything else you're looking forward to this year? I'm looking forward to summer and swimming. I'm looking forward to the ocean. Yeah. I was actually saying that the other day. Yeah. The one thing I've missed is the ocean. Well, that's going to be nice at the end of the year. Because on the on the tour that Joshy was talking about, we'd for like what two, three months, we were in the ocean almost every day. Mm. I, I very much enjoyed everyone's earliest musical memories. Yeah. That was mm. my favourite part. It's quite a. It was so sweet. It's yeah. a good question. It's not something I often ask people. Yeah. It's funny because we know. I would say. We, we know quite a lot about each other, but there's always those tiny little things and those nuances to every human that don't get expressed without mm. being questioned. You know, we're very complex. Anyway. Yeah, well, then that's the end of the interview. Yay! Oh, thanks, Neil. Yeah, thanks, Neil. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Clara, as well. Thanks, Clara. You want to get a burrito? You hungry? We're going to go get a burrito. Yeah. Come on, yeah. let's go. Yeah.